The conservative group Young America's Foundation hosted a pretty embarrassing event recently called CancelCon. It took place on September 17th and they had very prominent right wing free speech protectors like Ben Shapiro, Adam Carolla, Dennis Prager, and yes, of course, our very own Dave Rubin. And it quickly became cringe inducing, it was a failure. My particular favorite part of this entire event was the video that you're about to watch. Victimizers beware, the racist and biggest greatest nightmares. Social justice warriors, it's the bias response team. If you've been offended, your feelings must be defended. The freedom of expression is a microaggression. Here comes Angela Freddy, he's always ready to fight fascism with fascism. Starbucks windows don't stand a chance. Ethic enhancer, he's a systematic racism finder. I have the power to see racism everywhere. Using the powers of screaming and shame, they win every debate by calling the names. They're heroes who think that they're victims. So that was the intro to the event. Um, <laughs> who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> I did. I loved it. Um, um, I think my favorite was, if you've been offended, you'll be defended. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I mean, but like, Jank, Jank. Well, it was like a month ago when Ben Shapiro was like having a temper tantrum over WAP. Which is oh, a yeah. form of speech. It's expression. He's like, oh, 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 oh. No, no. wet ass p word, wet ass p word. We can't have that. I, I am not a big fan of wet ass p words. Like, relax. You know. And, and by the way, like that's kind of a silly story, right? But when it comes to any other speech that he disagrees with, he does the exact same thing. So does Dave Rubin. So does Adam Carolla. Adam Carolla lost it because I challenged his ridiculous talking points on school lunches. Like he, so like which one is it, right? Being criticized for being a knucklehead, which is what often happens to these guys, is not the same as being canceled. They're still collecting tens of thousands of dollars doing silly little events like this, giving silly little speeches to silly little groups of people throughout the country. They're still raking it in. Where have they been canceled? They haven't been canceled. Please, pathetic. Okay, so. Actually, think about the WAP controversy, if you will. Um, what was Ben Shapiro's main point about wet ass p words? His main point is that he was offended, that it offended his religious and moral sensibilities, and that he found that it was uh, deleterious to society and culture because of that. Well, if you've been offended, you'll get defended. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but Jake, look, the answer to speech you don't like is more speech. So I challenge Ben Shapiro to put out a, a, a rap song to his liking, right? Let's hear it, Ben Shapiro. What kind of rap song do you want to put out what there? What do you mean? He but just like, did. That yeah. was it. The Social Justice Warrior rap song. <laughs> By the way, I'm sure that will be just as popular as Cardi B. Okay, I mean, I don't know when it drops officially on iTunes. Okay, but we'll keep an eye on it. But um, but there's also the serious side of their hypocrisy, which is, you know, I'd love to see what Ben Shapiro thinks about BDS movement on Israel. So oh, you know there are laws being passed in America saying that if you believe that Israel should be boycotted or sanctioned, we're going to punish you for your beliefs. So I'm sure Ben Shapiro's gone nuts to saying that's outrageous, right? Oh No, right, he's in favor of that. No, look, they're the world's biggest hypocrites. Now, if you don't know that by now, it's just because you've never seen a single counter video. All they've done is serve you their own videos where they conveniently leave out their massive hypocrisy. And to Anna's point about Adam Carolla, look, Adam, you got a right to say anything you want. You just don't have to have a right to be popular. So if Anna wins the day with her argument, you can go ahead and cry about it, but it doesn't mean she took your speech rights away. You got right. to say it. <laughs> Nobody put you in prison. And 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 then one more thing from my perspective here is that I, I'd like to apologize to everybody. I should have done this earlier um, for 
creating Dave Rubin. So because mm. before he got to Young Turks, Dave Rubin was a zero. Uh, but not only that, um, his main claim to fame is I was on the Young Turks and now I'm a guy who's pretending to be a classic liberal, whatever that means. And so his whole shtick is based on the fact that he worked at this company once. So my bad that I didn't know that he was a grifter. And so, but now his whole career is predicated on, I once scammed left wingers at the Young Turks into believing that I actually had any principles at all. And so now conservatives, I'm gonna use that as my resume builder to, to now be on you. Otherwise, who's Dave Rubin? No one. Yeah. Yeah, um, I can't help myself. We got to watch one more video from this uh, fantastic event that only received 95,000 YouTube views and 6,000 dislikes. 3,000 likes though, let's watch. The most controversial thing, I'll tell you, America is a great country. I love America. Those are two of the most controversial things one can say. That, that's how Lincoln was a great man. In other words, any obvious moral statement regarding the US is controversial. That's that's how bad things are. What no one really wants to hear is you'll either do well here or you won't do well here and that'll be up to you. The right. playing field is fairly level, certainly level enough in almost 2021. And it'll never be completely level, it can't be completely level. People that are short have a slight disadvantage. People who are born uh, to this type of family or missing a father in the home, for instance. But this is about as level a society as you can ever have. And thus, it is up to you. All right, Shapiro, we got Prager saying America's pretty good. We got Corolla saying that hard work has value. Can you beat either one of those? Come oh, on. Easily. Are you ready for this? <laughs> this? This is so easy. Okay. Men are not women. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Well, You're okay. <laughs> and okay. The you asked for it. Cut. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> JK Rowling's having her books burned. Yeah. Right? The, the only book any of these people have ever read, right? They, they should have read like the Bible or any other book. As it turns out, it turns out the only people who's that they, they only read Harry Potter and now they are burning the only book they have ever read because she had the temerity to say that biological sex exists. You know, there is something um, pretty hilarious about four white guys who get paid an insane amount of money to like do like ridiculous events like this, putting themselves in the position of victims. Like we're the victims, we yeah. do stuff like this, get paid for it, and we're the victims. And also, I mean, like how would Adam Carolla know about a, a fair or level playing field? He hasn't had to be like on the playing field for quite some time. Like again, most people, I think they forget because they're in their own little bubble. I think they forget that most people don't get paid tens of thousands of dollars to give speeches. I think they forget that the federal minimum wage is so low that no one working full time making minimum wage can afford even like a two bedroom apartment anywhere in this country. I mean, they're so disconnected from the tens of millions of Americans who are laid off during the pandemic and are desperate right now for any type of financial relief. They don't know what it's like to be, you know, nearly half of Americans who can't afford a $400 emergency. Because guess what? A lot of people out there actually have to work really, really, really hard to earn a living. And they work really, really, really hard to earn a living where they're underpaid and underappreciated. They don't know what that's like because again, they're willing to spew all sorts of right wing, ridiculous, ignorant talking points and get paid a tremendous amount of money doing it, right? Most people don't have that opportunity. Most people actually wanna earn an honest living. Right, but they put themselves in this position of like, but we're the hard workers and we've succeeded and we've done so much. Okay, well, let's take your little right wing funders out of the equation and see how well you'll actually do in this so called level playing field. Yep, 100%. Uh, that whole cancel con guaranteed is paid by right wing billionaires. And they're like, uh, even playing field, I mean, anyone could have uh, uh, prostituted themselves to right wing billionaires. We're just the geniuses who did it because we have no shame in principles. Uh, okay, if that's your claim to fame. All right, I, but real quick, I want to go through some of those things. First of all, uh, he said, uh, Shapiro said, oh yeah, transgender people. Uh, to Anna's point about victimhood, 
Look, no group in America is more disproportionately the victim of violence than transgender people. But Ben Shapiro flips it on its head and pretends to be the victim as he makes fun of that group. So it's really quite revolting. And some of that does lead to terrible action in the real world. I'm not holding him accountable for that, but I am saying, I'm using my speech to call out what a terrible person he is. To Carollo's point, he's like, I mean, it's pretty even playing field. Really? The guy born in West Virginia and Logan, West Virginia has as much of a chance as the guy born in the Upper East Side of Manhattan or in Beverly Hills. You, you gotta be kidding. It's not even close. So how about you do something constructive like affirmative action based on income levels so that everybody's got a fair chance? Hey, if you got an A plus, you know, a transcript in West Virginia or the Bronx. Yeah, people should take into account that context of how great you did within and without any tutors or any of the other help that those other folks got. When and then the talking about how oh, we love America, man. What a bunch of simpletons pretending to be intellectuals. It's hilarious. Any person, and you don't have to be a deep thinker on this. You don't have to be an intellectual. Everybody knows. Does any country, including America, have upsides and downsides? Of course. Slavery, a massive downside, which unfortunately has trickled down to this day in how we interact with African Americans in this country and how power and government interacts with African Americans. But that doesn't mean America doesn't have great sides. And if you really love the country, you wouldn't say don't fix its problems. You would actually actively help in fixing those problems. And their caricature of the left wing, does it apply to a few small People, yes, from time to time we see that and we fight against that too. But is it true of the overall left? That is hilariously wrong. On this show, which honestly is the most popular left wing show in America, we have said dozens of times, both to the left and the right, you don't have a right not to be offended. So it's just a caricature. All they do is set up straw men and then and then knock them down. And it's it's basically for simpletons or people who have never heard the other side. And then they go, oh wow, oh yeah, I guess the other side doesn't love America. Oh, I guess the other side doesn't want anybody to speak. None of that is true. And uh, and but if you watch that thing, I mean, really, past the sixth grade education, you should be able to tell how comically wrong they are. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.